I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Um, it was a fast grade one. It was the most grade number three, I believe, aggressive. And I was really nervous, but when I saw Cindy, she was smiling at me. Hi, how are you today? So I work at in uh, radiation oncology. I'm an administrative assistant. My job is to care for our patients that come in, to treat them as if they were our family, honestly. It was her initial consult, and I know that's gotta be scary for some people who has cancer. And um, I just wanted to make her feel at ease. So then I knew I was like, I got this. I can handle this. And I knew that she would make my days go fast there and brighten them up. I reassured her that she would be okay and that we would uh, get through this together. You know, when you're waiting in that room and there's a little card that says, do you want to donate in someone's honor, this, you know, guardian? And I'm like, this is Cindy. This is me giving back and this is what she deserves. It was just an amazing feeling, so it was it was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I was in shock. I uh, got the email and it said that I had been a recipient of the Guardian Angel Award, and I was like, "What?" <laughs> I would ask that all of our Guardian Angels please stand so we can give you all a round of applause. Tonight we are hosting at the Sanford Health Foundation the Guardian Angel Pinning Ceremony. We are recognizing Guardian Angels within the Sanford Health Network, so. Any employee that has made an impact on a patient, uh, the patient can actually go back and honor them through this program. The whole team in the Sanford NICU spent so much time and care with our family, so thankful for their whole crew. Congratulations. Funds that they donated will then go back into the fund that the donor had chosen, and then 100% of those funds stay within the Sanford Health Network. Well, we're part of a team that gives great care, and it's nice to hear that people are appreciative of that, want to continue that care on into the future. And one way they can do that is giving from, in a financial way, and not only from their hearts, but expressing it financially. It helps us in the future in so many different ways. Catherine said, the team of physicians that I nominated saved my dad's life. Being recognized by this kind of reminds you that you're not just taking care of a patient, you're also taking care of the family members also. People are in need and hopefully we fulfill that need by just a kind word or just the attention that you know we need to give our patients and their families. The little things count, the little things matter and, and every at the end of the day that's what that's what makes us Sanford. It's almost like they are able to give twice by allowing the funds that they give to be used um, you know for another uh, purpose as well. It was a beautiful honor. It fosters a sense of community too between us and our patients and knowing that you know as much as we enjoy caring for them they enjoy being part of that care as well. Sydney always had a smile on her face and gave hugs to brighten up my day. It's an honor. It's very, it's, it's very much an honor. Our patients come in to us and I greet them with a smile. I um, reassure them that it's, it's gonna be okay. And she was easy to talk to and easy to get along with, so made it fun <laughs> to see her when she came in. Because she's laughing and she's, um, she's just very easy to get along with. Very easy to get along with. She's bubbly and friendly just like I am, so I think yeah. that's why we had a huge connection. I think so. We Definitely. like to We like to be goofy. That's right. It gets us through the day and <laughs> helping others. Like, you know, when someone's down and all you want to do is put a smile on yep. their face. My team of coworkers that I have behind me that work behind me every day, that from the therapists to the doctors to the nurses, are amazing. We truly care about each of our patients. So to me, I wasn't going above and beyond, but just caring for people. Mm -hmm.